the stars of the Oscar-nominated Babel, Ava Green and Gael Garcia Bernal. Good evening. At the heart of any great film, there is a great story. Whether long or short, it's what you do with it that counts. These four documentaries told the real stories of people dealing with very different challenges. Living in poverty, coping with AIDS, overcoming physical handicap, and striving to realize a dream. And the nominees for Best Documentary Short Subject are... The Blood of Yingcho District, Ruby Yang and Thomas Lennon, Recycled Life, Leslie I. Works and Mike Clare, Rehearsing a Dream, Karen Goodman and Kirk Simon, Two Hands, Nathaniel Kahn and Susan Rose Bear. And the Oscar goes to... The Blood of Yingzhu District by Ruby Yang and Thomas Lennon. This is the first Academy Award and nomination for Ruby Yang. The first Oscar win and second nomination for Thomas Lennon. Thank you, everyone. A treacherous profession documentary film, one part of our hearts with remote villages in Anhui, China, the other part burning to get here, Beverly Hills, uh, complicated, quite complicated. Our thanks to Jing Jun and Li Shiguan, Joan Gantz Cooney, our Chinese American supporters, the Star Foundation, Sheila Nevins of HBO, Jugu, Chungma, the whole Chinese crew, and most importantly, Zhang Ying, who let us film her work. In case you're wondering where he's been, here he is, Jerry Seinfeld. Thank you. Thank you. Um, a few years ago, <clears throat> I was the uh, subject of a documentary called Comedian, which won nothing and made even less. But it was good. It was so good that, as a direct result, I have been asked here tonight to present the award for Outstanding Documentary Feature. And I love documentaries. I find them to have a very real quality. <laughs> and I know all the nominees are excited because when you are nominated, you are being told, we think you might be the best. Might. We won't know definitely until we get you all dressed up in a room together with all the other people and on TV. Because if by some chance it should turn out that you are not the best, we all want to see the look on your face when you get the news. <laughs> I am a huge fan of movies in general. I go all the time. I've noticed in theaters now they're running this little announcement trying to get you to pick up the garbage from around your seat. Oh, okay. Let me bring my orange jumpsuit and a wooden stick with a nail in it, too. Maybe I'll work my way down the highway after the credits roll. I'm not picking nothing up. I'm the one that threw it down. How many different jobs do I have to do here? There is an agreed upon deal between us and the movie theater people that is understood by every single person in this room. The deal is, you rip us off <laughs> on overpriced, oversized crap that we shouldn't be eating to begin with. In exchange for that, when I'm done with something, I open my hand. <laughs> Not sticking my hand down into a dark hole and trying to pry out three goobers that have been soda welded there since the Shawshank Redemption which is not a nominee this evening, but these five incredibly depressing movies are. <laughs> Deliver Us From Evil, Amy Berg and Frank Donner. 
An Inconvenient Truth, Davis Guggenheim. Iraq in Fragments, James Longley and John Sinnoh. Jesus Camp, Heidi Ewing and Rachel Grady. My Country, My Country, Laura Poitras and Jocelyn Glotzer.